Gemini and we'll now be exploring how and when this person could potentially be coming forward uh, to tell you their um, feelings or how this may come to fruition, sort of how this could play out uh, for some of you. Okay, so we'll, um, I, I do want to lay out five cards and we'll see what comes up around uh, you and this person and how you'll sort of get things going, I think. Um, so let's have a look and see what comes up for you, Gems, okay? The Virgo has come up twice with the Hermit card. And the, uh, Leo has also come up twice here. So potentially the times of Leo and Virgo. So uh, they might message you late in the night, okay? Um, but it could happen in the time of Leo, July 23rd to August 22nd. And you also have the time of Virgo, which follows straight after, which is August 23rd to September 22nd. So there could be a lot of developments romantically between the both of you, and it may come to fruition. Um, it may be heightened. Uh, this is very exciting, but it may be heightened around you during these times. And it may happen late at night, okay, on a sleepless night. You know, this person's thinking about you a lot. They may message. The swords can be lines of communication. Uh, they may message you, um, but they'll message you. I, I feel like they'll, um, it's almost like they'll rehearse themselves because the hermit is the perfectionist. It's the Virgo. And I think in some ways this person uh, will try and perfect what it is that they want to say to you. So it's like uh, coming across in a very perfected way, okay? Or they're seeking a perfect question or um, a, a perfect opening line or something like this, Gemini. So this is quite interesting, but I do see an offer with the Knight of Pentacles. And this is an offer in the physical realm. Uh, for some of you, this person may ask you out like through work, okay? There might be an offering to come to a work event with them. They may be asking you if you're attending a work event. If you're working on a project, they may want to do like a Zoom call, a conference call with you and sort of check in on that or almost use work as an excuse type thing uh, because you do have two pentacle cards here. So it can be work and money uh, and things of that nature here. But I think, as I said, it could definitely be uh, in the time of Leo or Virgo or in between those times um, that they're nervous to come forward. They don't really know what to say to you. Actually, there could be someone who wants to message or call or reach out to you late one evening. And they're, it's almost like they'll be worried that you may take it the wrong way and you may think, oh, they're messaging me late. They only want a booty call type thing. So then they're overthinking it and they're actually stressing about it even more. Um, but you've been on their mind for quite some time. The seven of pentacles shows that there's, this person has like built up memories of you, Gemini. So I think you've been in their sights for quite some time, but they haven't made that um, forward step yet. They haven't, um, they haven't made that happen, but I mean, the numbers nine have come up twice. So the number nine could be significant, maybe in the ninth month, uh, on the 9th of August, 9th of September, maybe. Um, the number seven could also be uh, significant. Maybe this is the time that they reach out. Um, maybe it's an, it's a place where they offer you to go. Um, some of you, you do have like an extended offer. Someone might want to take you out and do something. For those of you that are still like sort of in lockdown or isolation, it could definitely be during that period and you sort of have to be isolated with this person. Um, so I don't think it's going to be at a venue or a function. For some of you, it could be at a place where it's quite private and isolated, uh, if that makes any sense at all. They're very attracted. Queen of Wands is a very strong energy. Um... They're very attracted to you sexually. They're open. I feel like this person could be would be open and willing to do a lot for you, Gemini. I think they hold you in very high regard, actually. I almost want to say with the Queen of Wands, she engages in a lot of superstition. So I think for some of you, this person has heard things about you. Now, these things could be somewhat scandalous because the Nine of Swords looks to the Queen of Wands. Um, could be like a piece of gossip. It could be a review they've read about you. Uh, it could be, 
you know, something that they've seen on online, on social media. Um, but I think they're attracted to this Gemini. I think this is what's really pulling them in. And it may come, you know, it may come after. It may come after a time like this when you might have something going on. It's almost like. I think there's an element of excitement here. I do, Gemini. I think you excite them in a lot of ways. And I think that approach, that invitation could come. Now, like I said, it could come in between those times or around those times. They don't have to necessarily be specific. But I think if they've come up twice, both Leo and Virgo, it must mean something in one way or another. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, they may even ask about your past or they want to know about your past. I don't think this person is actually from the past. I don't think you've had a romantic connection before. You may know each other and you may have been attracted, but nothing ever eventuated. But they do. They think about you very, very frequently, Gemini. They think about you a lot. But I think they're, it's almost like a collection of thoughts or memories is coming here. I don't really believe you have a history, though. I mean, I could be wrong. Some of you might have some sort of tension or romantic history with this person. Maybe that's what's coming up in the cards. Um, but I feel like they're going to approach you, if this isn't the Virgo and Leo period, I think they're going to approach you at a time when you're single and you're available and it's almost like you're open for encounters or dating. Uh, so maybe right now you're closed off or you're unavailable and this, this, I feel like they're quite a respectful person. I don't sense them to sort of be pushing themselves on you when they know you have something going on. It's the kind of person that sort of sits in the background and watches and waits. And I say that because the Knight of Pentacles exercises restraint. Um, you know, he's not the excited, anticipated, um, somewhat chaotic knight. He's, he's chivalrous, he's prestigious. He hands his pentacle over to the last king and queen of the deck. So, you know, he, he knows his place. His noble steed is not moving. You know, it's 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 knowing one's place and knowing when the time is right. So I think they're, they are watching and waiting, but I think it's a calculated move on their part. I do. Uh, I think, a, uh, you know, a lot of their thoughts are governed by you and it could have definitely be sexually charged thoughts and fantasies about you. But I think with the hermit, they're sort of trying to, um, it, what came to mind, it could even be someone that you actually know that they have something for you and, you know, they're interested. And now that they know that you know or that you've found out Gemini, they're sort of playing the distancing role. So for some of you, this person may be, you know, go quite distant, or it could indicate that this person comes on fairly strong at the beginning, makes that offer. And if they're not getting the desired response from you, they may back away a little bit. So you might see some distancing uh, taking place, okay? So at least some distancing in communication. Um, But I think they're going to strike up a conversation and I think they'll know the right things to say and ask. And I think you'll really appreciate where the communication goes and also their initiative. I think you're going to be very attracted by their confidence. A relationship could be on the cards here for some of you. I feel like there's someone who is who has a lot of values, seven of pentacles. So they're not, I don't think they're necessarily just after the attraction, Gemini. I think they're after something more. And obviously when and if that happens, it, it's going to take off from there. But two nines are coming up. So I think this is happening soon. Uh, they'll be in the cycle until they come into the number 10, which is essentially one. And that's the new beginning that looks quite promising for the both of you. A very exciting period indeed, Gemini. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you again, everyone, and bye for now.